Hey guys, this is Morgan from RacerX Performance Tuning. Today we're just going to do a short video on data logging using uh, AEM Series 2. We have a lot of customers on AEM and uh, data logging is something that we obviously use a lot to help during the tuning process, whether that be local tuning or especially during the remote tuning. So your ability to data log is going to be key uh, to the success for your, log for your uh, tuning. So once you start up AEM, it usually will prompt you for a workspace, but if it doesn't, just come here to File, and then uh, Workspaces, and then Open. There is an open recent one, which will show you recent ones, but um, for the guys who are working with RacerX, you'll have a, a custom workspace that we created for you that we use exclusively, and you'll find it here under your Documents folder, uh, wherever you're keeping your workspaces for AEM. It should come up as a default. So open that up, and that will bring you up the workspace. Once the workspace is open, it's going to prompt you, if you haven't already, to load a calibration file. Now, since we're going to be in the car, we don't actually need to load an existing calibration file off of the uh, computer, so we'll just cancel this right now. The next thing I'm going to do, my common process, is to go into ECU and then slide down to ECU Connection Preference. And here's a way I can just quickly check to see that I've got connect communication with the ECU. So right now, the key needs to be in the on position so that your dashboard lights are showing. And then depending on whether you're a USB, which is most people, or a serial port setup, click the appropriate option, and then slide down to this button here called Find EMS on My Computer. Click that button, and it should come back and tell you something in green about your uh, ECU being found. If it's in red, you're going to need to check your connections and, and do this again, because it will not connect until we have this. So once I've done that, I'm just going to OK on this. Next, we can go and connect to the ECU. So we'll go ECU and then connect to ECU. Now, it may take a few moments here before it gets started. Um, if you start clicking around here to kind of tell you one of those not responding messages and so forth, so just give it a few minutes, a few seconds, maybe up to a minute even, for a little dialog box to come up. When a dialog box comes up, sometimes it'll just stay there and keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Uh, if it does that, one of the quick fixes is just to quickly unplug and replug your USB uh, cable into the laptop and then it will start to load. Here we didn't have any problem with that, and so it's now connected to my car, uh, to the ECU, and we're ready to start up the car and start data logging. So when you start data logging in AEM, it's important to be on the right tab. Whatever tab you're on, that's the one that is gonna data log the channels that you have listed for that tab. So we have other tabs here that we can sometimes focus in on. Maybe we're trying to debug something in start, or we're trying to debug something in our idle, um, and that's great, but basically what I've done is kind of added almost all of the values that I'm going to want to track, whether it be start, idle, cruising, boost, timing, all of that's right here in this dash tab. So make sure you're on the dash tab uh, before you start logging. When you start logging, once you are logging, if you try to change the tab, it will ask you, hey, do you want me to stop logging? Because I can't change this tab unless you've done that. All right, so one of the tricks to, uh, to doing this correctly, we can see that we're connected to our ECU. Um, is to make sure that you start logging kind of after you started up the car. Uh, you can actually try to do it before the car starts, but if you lose this connection here, the data log is going to be gone and it's not going to be actually be logging. So the key is to start logging and stop logging and save it uh, before you turn off the car. So you have options just to use the menu bar here, or you can use your, your key, keyboard for F6 to start logging and F7 to stop logging. So we're going to start logging now. We see, if we come back to logging, we'll see that it is logging and we only have options to either cancel or stop and save. Let's go ahead and start up the car. Okay. So usually if I've started logging before starting up the car, I'm gonna come back here and just check to make sure it hasn't canceled out on me inadvertently. So the car is running, It'll take just a moment um, for the, uh, AFR is to pick up because the AFR gauge is warmed up. There we go. So basically you can see all the channels that are logging over here and the dashboard gives you some visuals some, for some important information. So once you're done logging, just click on logging again and you can either hit the F7 button on your keyboard or click stop and save. Once you click stop and save, you'll find yourself in your 
default logging uh, folder. And uh, right here, you can just click save. And then your data log is now saved. That's it, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh.